What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning in the bottom of the map in the sky blue color, playing as Zeus. His name is AC the Great. He is from the clan Turin. They're Turin the world. No, that, that can't. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, AC the Great here from TRN. His partners today in the yellow color, playing as Gaia. His name is Tiger Boss, and rounding out the team in the red color, playing as Hades. His name is Joker Dam. Their opponents today from Britannica, from the Britain, the country of Britain, England, some might know it as. Spawning as Gaia. His name is Odin King. Their team rounding it out. We do have over here in the purple color playing as Odin. His name is Evil. And then finishing up the team composition over here, we do have Grass and Groom as the Uranus here. Pretty exciting one. We've got a different map for you guys. This one here is actually a map that um that is 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 completely playable. It's a balanced, very, very fun map. It's very similar to Oasis in terms of herdables, in terms of hunt, in terms of wood. It's just that there's no Oasis in the middle. Big changes, I know, to the maps, but it does mean that these low... There's not a whole lot of low hunt maps, essentially. So this map here being an open low hunt map really does give yourself a lot of opportunity to take different parts of the map and have a, have a fun game. Things can be very, very different here. So we'll see how things are going to go. Uh, so the map is called Secluded Expanse, and this is the one, I think this might be one of the final games of, uh, one of the final games of the, the group stages here, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe that the winner or the loser of this, it, it, I think this is a game between second and third, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is a game between second and third place. So we'll see how things are going to go here. So we do have a bit of a bit of a strange team composition here. We've got we got Evil as Odin with the Gaia and an Arano. So very Atlantean heavy composition makes a lot of sense on this map. Atlanteans are going to be stronger on the open maps as well as the uh, low hunt maps. So it does make a whole lot of sense. But then the Odin coming in as well can be very interesting here. We do see that the Gaia forest gets dropped down in the main base of Evil, sharing that one there first with the Norse makes a lot of sense. Means that he's going to be able to cut the ox cart if we move over here and we see what the uh, the Gaia player decided to do here. He did give the uh, the trees over to AC the Great here, which saves on the wood for a storehouse. Now, if you give Gaia Forest to a Zeus player and they skip that wood for, uh, and for that storehouse, they can actually do like a sub four minute advance time and just, and just absolutely blow someone off the map. It, it can be really, really strong. Um, so we're not actually seeing that here from AC the Great. He's just going to be playing a standard opener, but uh, he, you can do some crazy stuff here with sharing those uh, those those guy forests uh, at the early stages of the game. We're starting to see people advance. We're seeing Freya coming through here for evil for uh, grass and groom. We're seeing the Prometheus come through. We see Hermes coming through for AC the Great. Not really any surprises here, though. I kind of feel like uh, Athena seems to be more and more the trend here for Zeus players as Joker Dem here uh, in in, uh, in team games as Joker Dem's deciding to go through Athena here himself uh, and I'm sure we're going to start seeing some extra advances here as Tiger Boss getting himself a very early second town center. This is very risky. If your opponent, if the opposing Gaia goes fast enough here, which is not happening, Odin King's going for his own second town center, but if the Gaia player goes fast enough here and spots this, you can actually drop a uh, Carnivora down and completely deny this town center from going up. And then they can send more units in and just completely prevent that. Or alternatively, Grass and Groom can just heroize this Oracle and start shanking. Uh, as he's moving in, he sees that. He's going to maybe make that decision. It's a little bit slow. Still hasn't done it. Leto coming through here for Tiger Boss. As the, uh, the booming is going to go on. You can't use Gaia Forest on settlements. I'm not sure what you mean. 
Someone, uh, I, got, I got some, I got some weird questions in the chat. We see the second, uh, second town center coming up now for Joker Dam. Over here we see the Katoska bosses. Katoska pie, the Katoska pie. Going at this town center right now, doing all the good stuff. We see the Prometheans coming in onto this position. You're going to start harassing Tiger Boss. The town center is up. These, these villages are completely fine. As the Valkyrie coming over here, going to take out some citizen and all the other good stuff over here. Everyone's just going for a little bit of a boom here. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Low hunt maps, booming tends to be the way to go, but eh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Holy, wait. The forest, huh? What? Forest fire on this location took that town center down to 200 HP. He keeps it alive, just barely. That's a big, that was a, that's a big God power combo blown there by Team RB. This is a little known, li very, very little known um, God Power combo. Guy Forest, Forest Fire. Does tons of damage, does it effectively immediately. It's essentially like a tornado in the classical age on a town center. It basically kills a town center, that, but well, not quite. But they just blew that out of nowhere. And now villagers starting to fall over here. Grass and Groom not paying attention. The center going to be taking down this villager very, very fast here. And that one does end up falling. There's now, uh, now Grass and Groom in a lot of trouble here. He's looking for some raids. We see a town center coming up now for AC the Great. Very greedy considering he's against the Uranus. He's much, much better to normally go for... Uh, to normally go for barracks and everything else, but looks like this town center will get caught out. Shockwave coming down here is going to be huge. Ceasefire will have to be cast here by AC the Great, and he does click that one there. Grass and Groom is going to be happy about, about that win. Uh, AC is going to have his town center up, but no ceasefire now, so Grass and Groom can make whatever reaction he feels like now to get into extra town centers, go full military, all the good stuff where that's concerned. Joker Dam is just going to take this game really slowly, I imagine. Two town centers against the Gaia. Effectively against Gaia as Hades, if they uh, if, you're, if they go two town centers, normally your best play is to actually just rush Mythic Age. Uh, just get your walls set up and all the other good stuff. Make sure you're not going to get touched. Get your heroes out to defend. All that good stuff. And just go her Heroic Age and utilize Underworld in tandem with a teammate to pick off like the other players. Just because the guy, I mean, you can kill them off. It's just that it takes a bit longer than killing someone else off because they've got all the guy lush that you have to wait for it to, to, to go away. You have to kill the buildings and wait for it to go away. As Odin King is taking this opportunity now to get himself a third town center. Tiger Boss is also doing exactly the same, getting himself his own third town center. Both these guy plays in a very, very similar position thus far in this... Uh, in this game. As the Ajax retreats back. Medium infantry coming in here. We will be seeing the, look, these, these heroes just, just completely massacre the, the automatons. Automatons are really, really strong, but just a couple of heroes is gonna be able to take them down. We are gonna be seeing the Minotaur retreating back here for the time being. As we do see, oh, 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 oh. Dead automaton, that two dead automatons. Nice play here from Joker Dam. Really, really solid defense thus far in this game. So we are gonna be seeing the raiding cavalry's coming in onto this position. Tiger Boss is already here to defend. You really don't want to be attacking the Gaia player if you can help it. The, the player you want to be going after at this point is the Zeus. Zeus has greedily gone for two town centers, and you know he's gone for Centaur as well. So he's got nothing left here in his base. So a big, big double onto the uh, onto the Zeus player is going to be really, really tough here for uh, Tiger Boss to, to help against because, I mean, there's just nothing here. It's going to be 1v2, essentially. Uh, as the centaur 
They do come back, but they're getting chased down nicely by those hero Mermillo. And look at this uh, micro from Grassroom. He's, he's split those up beautifully there onto both of those separate centaurs. We are seeing Odin King attempting to come in here, taking down the Ajax as the villager's going to come over here and try and get these walls set up but a little bit too late at this point. Meanwhile, we are seeing the Raiding Cavalry going after some of those AC, the great villagers, picking them off nicely here as the uh, army from Tiger Boss coming onto this position. Tiger Boss has got uh, currently the score lead here in this game. If we take a good look at what the economic upgrades are looking like, he still doesn't have himself like any of the really special upgrades for the farms, but he'll be able to get them very soon as now Gaia Irrigation is on the way. His economy is going to be absolutely gigantic in this game as the raid's coming through for Odin King. He will be spotting this, but the Gaia, Ga well, not Gaia, the, uh, the spider eggs do get dropped over here. As the uh, Terma moving in onto this position and we will be seeing the raiding cavalry attacking this nicely taking out these uh these villages beautifully we'll be seeing let's see how it's all gonna go it's the uh tiger boss units coming over there's the uh spiders helping out we do have the minotaur here to help take down these units tiger boss is here to defend now this is all really for team rb it seems to me like tiger boss and odin king will kind of cancel each other out uh, Jokadam should be able to deal with evil here, but the big question is going to be, can Grass and Groom deal with AC the Great here or not? Because right now, AC the Great, all he's got is a couple of centaur. So Grass and Groom needs to get good pressure done and keep, uh, keep AC the Great on the behind and not allow the raids to really happen. So seeing Tiger Boss trying to get aggressive over on this position, we are going to be moving over here. See the, uh, the Terma getting taken down and everything else here. There's Odin King swinging through over here, looking for, for something to take out. Do you see the uh, the Centaur coming over here? We'll be able to take down these throwing Axemen nicely as well. Good raids. Every time you can pick up anything with these Centaur, you want to pick them off. Doesn't matter if it's a Villager, a Throwing Axemen, a Mermillo, a Nemean Lion, anything like that. Anytime you can use that special, you want to be using it because that is value. That is absolute value as we see the... Uh, Settlement attempting to come up here for Jokadam. Now, there is a restoration that can be used as Tiger Boss coming through here to defend this one. We do see that the Heroic Age has come through for... Uh, was that not, not quite for Tiger Boss, but it has come through for Odin King. As Odin King decides to go through Rhea, so he will have access to Trader to steal this Nemean Lion away, which he definitely should be using here, but he hasn't thrown it down just yet. As there he goes with the steal, but now it's 1v2 as Odin King has to retreat away. We will be seeing those villagers getting pushed off at this point as the uh, heroes have to deal with that Nemean line before the town center can come back up. We see Ace of the Great coming over here to defend. Evil's army is nowhere in sight. For some reason, he is just sitting here idle with those units. He needs to get over here and help our Odin King. If Odin King can't secure this position or gets pushed back, he's going to be... In a, he's not in a terrible spot, but he's just not going to be happy. He should be able to make something work here at this point. Meanwhile, looks like Ace of the Grey has actually recovered completely as Grass and Groom comes over here. Curse gets dropped down here. Apollo is now getting clicked up by Ace of the Grey, so there will be uh, some sort of underworld shenanigans that can't, can come through. As the Odin King Palace has been denied for the time being, as those uh, purple units are just too slow to get over here, finally making their way in onto this position. And I imagine Tiger Boss and Jokerdom will just say, yep, time to retreat. Get out of here. We've we've uh, we've overstayed our welcome, but that's fine. Town Center is up. Sentinels is down. Fortress coming down as well. Big shockwave getting thrown down on this position. Everything completely fine here. Meanwhile, we're seeing now Ace of the Great happily starting to move out here and going for some fights. Onto, uh, onto Grass and Groom, as Grass and Groom does defend decently. Gets a couple of Terma heroes out here, so these units can't really fight this just yet. Maybe AC the Great being a little bit too overzealous there with that push out. There's more units coming through. We do see the villagers wanting to move on to this town center. I think uh, AC the Great feels fairly confident that he can win this fight, and he is absolutely right. Grass and Groom has got way too many of those Terma here, as we do see a big restoration coming down on this uh, location here, as everyone is currently targeting this location down, uh, and we'll see if Odin King and Team RB can defend this one. Uh, the, the, these these Odin units are very very strong here, so it seems to me that he should be we should be okay here. RB should be okay to hold at least for the time being. But the problem really is going to start being. 
Uh, Ace of the Great gets his third town center up. And Grass Groom does have three town centers, does have Thayer, but his army composition needs to stop being Termite and needs to start being uh, Arcus Mermillo or just even pure Arcus at this point could be could be enough, but he needs it like yesterday, as these are these units are just going to keep pushing through here. This town center will fall most likely, especially with the Manticore behind here. But we'll see if uh, Ace of the Great is going to continue to push there or take the safer route. As uh, Village is getting taken down over here as well, we do see that the uh, the palace is up now, so Destroyer is going to be coming through the. The uh, Behemoth is going to try and push in. It's really, really hard for uh, for a Gaia player to actually break a Hades player. You kind of have to work super diff super hard as the Gaia to really kill off the Hades. Because their buildings are so strong. Their units are so strong. And effectively, you have to just mass, mass buildings around them. As Tiger Boss is continuing to put the pressure over here. As it seems to me that... Uh, Evil's army has just disappeared and the town center is going to fall so fast. There's no upgrades on this town center. There is, there's no masons, there's no architects, there's no there's no fortified town centers. And with a, well, we see a trader coming in, but the, the town center just goes down. The town center just goes down. Evil leaves Odin King out to dry in this game as he's, he's got his three town centers. There could be a Ragnarok coming. That could be scary for team uh, TRM, but I don't think Odin King has the time just yet to, to deal with this. As his villagers retreating away, we see Skadi coming through for evil. Evil still only in the classical age. Ladies and gentlemen, his army is coming over here to help defend, but it's too slow as Joker Dem and Tiger Boss are too big over here. Meanwhile, it seems to me that not only that, AC the Great is winning on his side as well. Look at the score, a 500 score in front just about. And Atlas is on the way. Hephaestus is on the way now for AC the Great. Atlas is on the way. Hephaestus is on the way as well for Joker Dem. And I don't know what Team RB can do at this point. Thank you for the prime there, Pepino. Appreciate you, my friend. But I just don't, I don't know what, what uh, RB can do. They've got to get in and get some like side builds in, get in and start putting pressure somewhere else. When you are behind, or even when you're ahead, you want to attack your opponent where they are at their weakest and hope if you are behind, that your opponent does not attack you where you are weakest is generally uh, uh, the best way to go about it. So if if, uh, if Odin King can circle around and do something like that, maybe he's going to be fine. But while this is all been going on, I think, well, actually, you know, both Tiger Boss and Odin King have started a trade route. It's absolutely gigantic. Look at 4.56 speed in the Heroic Age. Once you get to the Mythic Age, they go up even more speed. If you do see the palace coming up now for Odin King on this position, trying to get this one back. But while this is going on, the Underworld does get thrown down here, but Evil does cast his Frost here. So no problems there, but Grass Grim will have to retreat away. Grass Grim should be able to get his units over there to defend as he's coming up onto this position. Did we see a... Uh, did we see any sort of... Tartarian Gate? Doesn't look like we did. I'm not sure why that's the case. Did he have it? Does he have it? No, he doesn't. Wait, he... He did use it. I oh, used it over here. Okay, fair enough. Use it on the on the Gaia player makes the most sense. Fair enough. But uh, Tiger Boss is just gonna happily retreat back and say, "Look, no worries. We got the we got this position over here unlocked." Oh, big implode getting dropped down here as all these units are gonna get sucked in. But it looks like the Underworld Passage will get deleted here, even though a Colossus manages to sneak in onto this position. But it looks like AC the Great has made the smart move of pulling back. And now the front of Grass and Groom is completely, well, not, not completely undefended. There's two palaces, a town center, and some buildings here. But these hoplites are going to absolutely melt the palace here. Uh, and do we have any upgrades? We do have masons, so it's got a little bit more survivability. I imagine AC is going to get some siege out behind this as he's continuing to push forward. Meanwhile, Joker Dem is just sitting happily outside the front of Odin King's base, doing everything he needs to. Big shockwaves coming in there, but the first palace will be formed as these units from Ace of the Great are just going to continue to flow through here. The heavy hoplites have got some decent upgrades there. Has the relics as well. Town Center over here is going to fall very shortly as well as the Ragnarok coming through for evil here. Uh, for evil here. He's got how much population? 369 population with a metric shit ton of resources in the bank. That is a scientific term, ladies and gentlemen. 
That's a lot of resources here. We've got tons of Toxodes for Joker Dam. <laughs> He's just got a ball of Toxodes. He just doesn't care. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is definitely a strategy. Toxody Petropoli definitely can be used to push forward as we're seeing Evil just go, I'm going straight to Tiger Boss. Tiger Boss is the uh, is the first call, the second call, the third call as he's going to push in here, take down this town center and make a lot of problems happen in the base of Tiger Boss. We'll see how this Ragnarok is going to help. Ragnarok heroes moving on to this position. How are the upgrades looking? Nearly full bronze, not bad. This position will get taken down fairly quickly here by these Ragnarok heroes. 15.4 damage per second versus 11.2 damage per second. We do see that Tiger Boss is in the Mythic Age, so he can make Fanatics. So he should be able to defend somewhat here. As that Town Center will come down. Now, luckily for uh, Evil here, this, this Town Center's only got the Guy Lush from the Town Center on it. So killing it off and waiting like a couple of seconds should be enough. And then he should be able to grab that one for himself here. As the main base here of Tiger Boss is going to get taken out. We are seeing Architects coming through. So it's going to slow things down just a little bit. As the Rag Hero is pushing through over here. Going to be taking down all of those villages that are on this location. We are seeing the Toxodes getting surrounded on the back. Can we see more upgrades coming through from our, um, from Evil? No, not just yet. Meanwhile, the unit's still pushing in here. And, uh, and Grassing Room is in a very, very short timing here. He is basically saying... I've lost. I'm going to try and hold on here as long as I can. Keep putting buildings up. But AC the Great is going to keep getting Siege and keep on winning on this location. Here we do see that the Plenty Vault has been sneakily stolen there by Evil as another Town Center is falling. This Town Center has not been built here by Evil. A little bit surprised about that one. He's probably still got resources. He does still have resources in the bank as this Town Center over here needs to go down as well. Tire Boss at one Town Center at this point in in absolute shambles really uh as all the uh this the trade getting taken down as well nice play here from ac uh sorry from from evil as ac's trade getting taken down will relieve a little bit of pressure for grass and grooms this town center going to be going down as well but while this is all going on grass and groom just does not have what it takes to hold here he's trying to throw towers up trying to hold as best he can he needs help from his team right now Gra odin king needs to get his town set up he needs to somehow hold against this o uh this uh, joker dem army but i'm not sure he's going to be able to do it uh, so really it's all coming down to evil to make this work and evil is cleaned up tiger boss but is it going to be enough tiger boss grabbing this town center back while this is all going on Definitely something that he should be doing as we are seeing these heavy fanatics coming in. They've got iron mail here. So they're going to be able to survive quite a way, uh, quite a while here against all this. We do see a temple coming up for evil. This one's going to be for fire giants, I would assume here. But both Odin King and Grass and Groom technically falling in this game as this town center does go down and Grass and Groom needs to regroup. Back in his base here, he's throwing palaces up everywhere, military barracks, trying to spend all his resources to stay alive here. We see the fire giants queuing up onto this position as the units retreating away. Now, it looks like this, this counter barracks might be preventing the town center from getting grabbed. Not 100% sure, but evil definitely needs to get some, uh, some population and some town centers to rebuild here in this game. As Secrets of the Tides now coming through for Tiger Boss, the only town center he has that could be easily deleted here by Evil if he wants to move over there, but not going there just yet as Tiger Boss coming in with his army, ready to start fight. Still doesn't have himself champion infantry, it's a little bit surprising. Take a quick look at his resources here. He does have the resources for it, so he definitely should be getting champion infantry. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Joke them's getting himself the town center. Ace of the Great slowly pushing through here. Oh, I, was, I say slowly, but he's it's not slow at all. He just needs to send some villagers forward to grab this town center to keep the, the pressure going here. As Odin King does cast himself Tartarian Gate in the main base of uh, Joker Dem. Maybe... I think it's too little too late, though, because, like, what can Odin King do to, to defend against this? He's got nothing left. The Heliopoli are out. We've been seeing some uh, devastatingly strong Gastrophides with burning pitch already, so they're going to be able to take down buildings incredibly fast. Villagers getting sniped over here from those Toxodes, while Jokadem has effectively neutralized Tiger Boss for the time being here, and he is grabbing this town center. Uh... Evil needs to rebuild his villages to really start helping. And he might be able to do it fast, but he then needs to come over and, and 
erase Jokadam, get Odin King back in the game, and also erase AC to get him back in the game. As we do see Tiger Boss saying, look, I'm just going to take this opportunity to get myself a Titan, and that's going to be enough to help uh, remove everyone else in this game. So he's got himself 10 Citizen over here on this one. As the unit's pushing through here, Champion Infantry looks like it has come through for Tiger Boss. As the Fire Giants are coming out for Evil to try and defend this one. Bellerophon over here as well from AC could be enough to help take down those uh, those Fire Giants. He, he is uh, a very, very strong unit at the very least. Look at that damage. Half HPs, the Fire Giant here. Going to clean up the rest of that one there. He's trying to retreat this way. Nice micro there from AC, saving, saving that one, making sure he gets that damage done. Another couple of fly giants falling. Second town center up for Tiger Boss as Jokadim is still slowly pushing in to this uh, base over here. We see the villagers getting taken down over here as I don't know where the army of AC the Great has gone, but he has pulled it elsewhere. We do see some side builds coming through from uh, from AC. Where is he going? Looks like he's pulling back here to try and take out this uh, take out this push from Evil, making sure he can. Come in here, clean all of this up. But these fire giant are getting max value at the moment. But an Argus coming in takes down one fire giant. Gonna retreat back, wait for the next uh, special ability to come through. And AC can take down this town center and help that one for Tiger Boss. But while this is going on, Grass and Groom not dead, still very much alive. He's gonna be able to grab his town center back here if he's fast enough. He's got himself the champion fanatics out. He's got himself some Arcus out. But Tiger Boss's Titan is on the way. And that's gonna be something very difficult for Grass and Groom to defend. And while this is still going on, we are seeing a valiant effort here from Odin King to defend. He's got a lot of units, but basically what he needs to do is get towers up and have a way to deal with those Heliopoli. So that's like Contarius, Catapelties, something like that. Fire Siphon is a, is a good idea as well, making Fire Siphon towers to try and defend against the Heliopoli onslaught that's currently coming in. But he does not, he's just not building the towers here. So he's going to fall at some point here as Grass and Grim trying to grab his town center while this is all getting cleaned up. We are seeing that Tiger Boss is left with the duty to finish off this town center from evil. Uh, as Tiger Boss has his own town center up, the villages are already all out for evil. He's starting to make Ballister in the middle of the map here. We'll see if he's going to be able to make anything happen uh, as the main base of Odin King is getting closer and closer to falling as Grass and Groom, Odin King, tap out Evil the Last to give up here as it looks like TRN manages to hold on after the big push there from Evil from that rag. It was just not enough to hold on. Odin King fell, Grass and Groom fell, and I think... I feel like if Evil was just over here with his army instead of sitting idle at this point, there was this point at like, I don't know, the, the 12 minute mark, 15 minute mark where uh, Evil just had his army and it was just idle. If it was in here defending this town center, things would have been much, much easier for Odin King. He had this big push that he was, that was coming in here, but Tiger Boss came over and quashed that push. And, and with the help of Evil, it might have been a completely different story here, but he just didn't go for it. It wasn't there. Uh, Grass and Grim, on the other hand, I thought he was doing great, but there was also a time here where Evil went for the attack on Tiger Boss, where AC had gone Centaur to Town Center. And if you understand what Centaur means for, for a Zeus player's military, effectively it means that their military is set back like two, three minutes. And then if you think what a second Town Center means, it, as well as Centaur, it means the military is set back for like, like, seven or eight minutes honestly seven or eight minutes you're behind before you actually start feeling a little bit of strength there and you can just completely wipe a greedy zeus play like that off the map if you get a good double happening because you're because their partner has to come over and defend but then they're just fighting against two players because the zeus isn't there with anything so we didn't see that here from Team RB. A, a very, very messy game, but a, a good win here. They get their first their first win in this. Uh, it's just a best of a, a two game series on a best of three, a best of a two game series. Uh, unless there's a tie break, in which case there's going to be a best of three, but it's just a two game series. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.